Hello, Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Moon, and Cross Watchers. I'm Mystic Jen, and this is your reading for October 2020. Keep in mind, this is not your Halloween reading. That will come out more towards the middle of the month and closer to Halloween. This reading is not going to be for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You may have just bits and pieces that resonate. And make sure you check out your other planetary placements. Okay? And so we're going to go ahead and get started. I am doing a mini tableau this month. And I am just going to go ahead and get the cards laid out. finish laying out the cards and I'll be right okay. back. I am back. I have my cards laid out and we are going to start with the central card. The central card is the, is the current issue or what's going on and is surrounding the house, surrounding family, surrounding the home. Okay. So we're going to look at what's going on in the home. Now we take the corner, we're going to do the cornerstone cards, which is the four corners, um, to get the overall feel of the theme of this reading surrounding this family. We have snake and we have garden. Snake, in uh, most of my readings, especially if it's a love reading, is the other woman. Um, it could be the other man. Um, the, the pictured on here is a woman. The playing card associated is a queen, a queen of clubs, okay? Most of the time it's another woman. Other times it could be um, another man in a woman's life as well on rare occasions. But I look at the rider. A lot of times the rider signifies to me in a love reading that there's um, something coming a visitor coming or it sometimes that could be a younger man in or and the other man in a woman's life um, typically the snake is a liar a deceiver okay and the snake is also about betrayals so what I feel here is a public betrayal and when I and what the feeling that I'm getting from this is you know, there is somebody, like maybe secret meetings that are leading up to betrayal or may have already been there. But this is like in October, this is October reading, and it feels like this is something that could be coming. It's like the, the also the snake could be publicly exposed for lies and deceitful actions and even betrayals. Then we have the moon and we have the ring. And this is telling me emotions are running high in some kind of committed relationship, whether that's business or love. But with the locket here, with the heart, is this is feeling like a love reading. So there's like emotions are running high, um, committed emotions. Somebody is very committed to their significant other but their significant other may not be as committed. There's definitely lies and deceitful actions going on here. Um, what there, this, the letter is about communication. The letter is communication and is documents. And we got another communicator card, un, card underneath, which I will get to in a bit. But we have family communications. I think it's from a man. This is going to get rich here. This is going to get real. Okay. So we have family communications from a man or a about a man. Because we have the rider down here, which could be indicating news coming. 
but feels like family communications either from a man or about a man. And whoever this reading is for, uh, it's weighing heavy on your mind. Ship is movement. Whip is repetitive actions or arguments. And power is, um, I'm seeing this as not as a structure or a business. I'm seeing this more as strength, standing tall, standing on your own. So what it looks like is somebody, this is changing direction, moving because of, of a lot of arguing. Repetitive actions is causing somebody to want to move, but there's somebody's going to end up standing tall and strong on their own. They know that they will be fine on their own. Then what is going on around, you know, what is happening is we have the birds, which is communication, talking, chattering. This is phone conversations, face-to-face -face conversations. Yes, it could be text messages, but I look more as the letters, text messages, as written communications. Um, we have the mice, which is anxiety. The mice also spoils things. The mice is theft. And we have the rider, information, messages, visitors. So it looks like that spoiled communications... make somebody move on or move towards another direction. Mice can be sneaky also, but they're also resourceful. The birds can also be lovebirds. So what I'm getting here is that somebody, I this is what I'm getting, somebody may have had repeated affairs or multiple lovers. As the snake, there might be a little bit of self-deception, but there is a snake in the home because these two knight each other. And yeah, snake and ring. The extra woman or the extra man in a relationship. And the house also knights the moon and the garden. This could be a public, um, a public, a public outburst, a pu public emotional outburst. It's what I'm getting here. What I th think is going on here is somebody's going to get caught in a public place with somebody that they should not be with, and there is going to be an emotional outburst here. Um, somebody may have been traveling. They may have met somebody traveling. They may have been traveling for business, but it feels like communications from afar. That's what this is. This might have been a long distance relationship possibly internet, Facebook, whatever, that somebody got caught up in something and there's going, they're coming, there's going to be meeting in a public place and they're going to get caught, my friends. They're going to get caught. They're going to get caught with their pants down. Whether that's figuratively or literally, because the, the whip card is about sex also. Hmm. Okay. So...
That's what this is. This is communications from afar. And then we have the present day situation around the home. Is there's a lot of arguing going on and things are deteriorating. It's like the family or this union is breaking down as a result of, you know, somebody's wandering in another direction. The future is, you know, this is, this could be a single man. Coming up, standing strong on your own. A man stands strong on his own. I'm feeling more like a woman is cheating than a man is, but it doesn't have to be. You have to decide where you are. But this is definitely talking about a man, a single man coming into the picture. That could be if you are the woman, you may have been dealing with another woman in a relationship. The man might have been cheating, but you know, this, as this tears down and then you end up standing strong on your own and single, you know, there is a man coming to a new man coming towards you. <coughs> Somebody traveling afar, invading the home. And we have... <clears throat> Two, duality, the birds, leading to singlehood. So there's definitely a third party. This is yelling third party situation. I feel like that they are from afar. And this could be actually their first meeting. After communicating through Facebook, over the internet, Pinterest, TikTok, wherever that they met up on. The lady card is in the destiny card, which we will get to that. But around the gentleman, we have in this timeline here, love in the home. A new, this is in the future. This is a new romance. Okay. He's turning his back on his, this home. And he's moving towards new love. He is thinking about sex and singlehood and commitment. This is screaming to me that, you know, sex is a sex, lone sex, you know, big sex. This is staying single and having sex. And he's questioning about the and the, which he's also thinking could this lead to a committed relationship and this person coming into their life had kind of spoiled things and stole his heart away and they are and this is he's feeling a little bit anxious about this meeting in public as also it's like he has a gut feeling. He's not using it, trusting his intuition. He's got a gut feeling that this public, may, this public meeting may not be the smartest thing. But the way it looks, it looks like it goes. He does it anyhow. And for this man, this new relationship. This is screaming wedding. So not, not saying you're meeting somebody in October and getting married in October and stuff, but this is down the road. But um, the, this is the potential in the future that this could be. This is definitely a love connection, a committed love connection, and the garden is the public. This could be actually be a wedding. Now, some of this stuff, it depends on where you're at in the timeline. All this stuff may have already happened months ago or years ago but for this man it is a marriage coming up um
Intuitively, I'm seeing that things were deteriorating within the home to begin with. Less and less going on in the bedroom, which kind of led to seeking companionship elsewhere, which that's how the third party came into existence, that things were breaking down already. And there may, with the, another woman, there may, I'm just going to put, throw this out there. There could be a pregnancy cycles, child, snake, woman, or she could be lying about a pregnancy. Keep that in mind, guys. If you're a man watching this, somebody could lie that they say that they're pregnant when they're not. Letters from afar leading to this love connection. Yeah, an existing commitment seems to, be, again, deteriorating. The cards seem to be repeating themselves here. So it does look like things are falling apart. However, in the destiny line, this is what is meant to happen. We have a lady and a gentleman right next to each other. But guess what? Their backs are to each other. And then we have the grave. So it's over. It's over. I'm moving on is what I feel here. For this particular reading, I'm being drawn to the romance angels to see where things are going. This is definitely a breakup and somebody's moving on. Additional messages and guidance for Gemini, please. Dear spirits, okay. Healing family issues and being optimistic about your love life, okay. The messages that I'm getting from this is that despite everything that's going on, for some of you, whoever is the one that's been hurt the most in this connection, you need to stay optimistic and even though it's over. Let yourself heal. Let your family heal, because this is a blow not just to you, but to your whole family. And then stay optimistic about your relationships and your love life. Not every relationship is the same. This is more of when you let go, better things are to come. Okay, so this is the messages that I have for you, my Geminis. I hope you find this helpful or useful. Again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you next time. Blessed be.